going to be doing literally my most requested video at the moment and it is going to be an updated what's on my iphone 6s edition if you didn't know i upgraded my phone but i didn't do it like just to upgrade i actually dropped and completely shattered my old phone where it wouldn't turn on anymore so i had to upgrade to this one but i like it i feel like not that much has changed but still a lot of you guys wanted to see like how i organize my apps and everything so here i am giving it to you and i'm definitely trying to brag in every single way possible so yeah let's just get started this is my phone it is the rose gold iPhone 6s with 16 gigabytes of memory. This is the current case that I have on my phone. It's like a white henna dream catcher that I thought was really pretty and I just ordered it online from like one of those Chinese stores for like really cheap and it is not that protective so normally I have like a wildflower case on but I thought this one was really cute for the video and kind of matched the colors of the phone. Now getting started with what's on the phone. Here you can see what day and time it is and yeah now you know when I'm filming. My lock screen right now is this like rainbow sunset from New York City and if you don't know it's like my favorite city and I just got this picture from tumblr I get like all my backgrounds from tumblr and I constantly like to like change it up so I have something new to look at and then now let's actually get into the phone here is my first page of apps I only have two pages I just kind of like to keep it pretty simple so this first page is very basic as you can see and by the way my backgrounds like this tropical beachy picture also from tumblr I've just got messages calendar photos camera weather clock maps videos which I never use ironically wallet notes reminders I iTunes, App Store, Dumb Stuff, and in this folder I have like stuff I don't use, like news, stocks, and the iBooks app. I also have health and settings, and of course on the bottom there are the apps that are always just there. I don't think I messed with these apps at all, so they're just the ones that come on the phone, and they are phone, mail, music, and safari. Now moving on to my second page of apps, this is where the party is at. I basically have everything here. I've got some more boring apps up top though, and they are FaceTime, Calculator, Podcast, Watch, and Game Center, which I do not use at all so I don't even know how I have notifications for it and then the first folder on this page is the social folder and I am definitely using this one the most first I've got Twitter and you all know what Twitter is but if you're not you should go hit me up on Twitter I probably go on here the most and I love Twitter so yeah tweet at me and I'll try and favorite it or reply all that sort of stuff so yes definitely follow at it's me Lexi one and then I also have Instagram and basically this whole video is a self promo video I'm logged in on my dog's Instagram right now so yeah uh, you can check her out. She's pretty adorable. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's just it's me Lexi one. Although I am really inactive, I definitely need to post more on there. And I also have Snapchat, which I also need to be more active on. A lot of you guys don't know, but I do have a Snapchat. It's me Lexi one. If you want to add me on there, and then I have Vine, and I occasionally watch Vines, but I don't really make them, so I don't know if you want to follow me there. But I also have Tumblr, and I go on there occasionally as well. I always link it below, and I have YouTube because you know YouTube. The next folder I would say is a pretty exciting one a lot of you guys like to see this sort of stuff and it is my photography folder even though I post on Instagram like twice a month the first folder is pick effects and out of all of these this is kind of the only one I really use for Instagram so you're about to see right here how I edit my Instagram pictures so you can see I just loaded a picture onto the app and it is opal she is adorable and all that I do to edit my Instagram pictures is I go on PFX film and I take PFX 5x and then I just bring it down like halfway or whatever looks best for the picture and that is all that I do and a lot of you guys were wondering so that's how I edit my pictures. I really like that app for their filters but I also have Square Ready which basically just puts borders on your picture. I don't use it that often but if there's like an app where you need to have a square it comes in handy. I've also got Photo Collage which is just a really good basic collage making app. I have Photo Mirror which kind of like flips or mirrors your pictures and then you know I gotta have VSCO because every YouTuber raves on about this app except fun in fact, I don't even use it. The next folder is just called Extras, aka another folder I almost never use, so I just kind of threw some stuff in here, and that is tips, voice memos, contacts, compass, find friends, and find iPhone. Then we have the shopping folder, and I feel like this is a pretty fun one. I only have three apps, but they are good apps. The first one is called Doe, and it's basically just an app you can use to shop at a bunch of stores, and they let you know when they're having sales and free shipping and that sort of stuff. I've used it a few times for Brandy Melville, and the shipping is a lot faster, and you get free stickers. And then I also 
have Poshmark and this is not like for buying from retailers it's actually like reselling your own clothes and I have a Poshmark if you want to check it out I sell clothes that are just like new or that I don't wear much my closet and account is just it's me Lexi one if you want to go check it out I have quite a few listings on there right now and if you decide to get the Poshmark app use the code PBDWM we can both get some free credit and shop around on the app I also have Mercari which is similar to Poshmark except you can sell literally everything not just clothes my Mercari is also it's me Lexi one and I kind of sell like similar stuff on there and if you want to get some free credit when you sign up on there be sure to enter this code and the next folder is pretty random so it just has like a moon emoji on it first one is heads up and it's Ellen's game app and basically you just like pick a category and you can play with your friends guessing the stuff and it's really fun I recommend it I also have New York Times virtual reality and not a lot of people have heard about this app but it is so cool it's basically New York Times stories in video format but it's like virtual reality so you can move it around like you're there it's kind of hard to explain but just download it and check it out if you want to I have the stolen app everybody was going crazy on Twitter over this app so I got it but now it's deleted off the app store I have a period diary because yeah girls you know and then I have an app that's not technically an app it's actually a website called app man and I will open it and show you guys basically it is this website where you go and download apps from it and you get like credit and you can use the credits you earn for money and gift cards like it's actually real it's not a scam and I've used it and it's really cool all you have to do is download apps run them and then you can delete them afterwards and you get the points for it. if you want to check it out be sure to use the code I have in the description box so that way you can get five dollars when you get it and you can cash it in for Amazon gift cards PayPal money and it's pretty exciting and you actually get stuff like decently fast and if you have iOS 7 on your iPhone or if you have an Android you can use it it's not an app it's actually a link and in order to get some free credits to start you out just use the link in my description box and yeah that is all you have to know for this the last folder on my phone I feel like is actually a pretty important one and it is my music folder because I never use iTunes. First we have Spotify and I haven't been on here in forever yet I occasionally use it. I haven't updated any of my playlists since probably like the summer but if you want to listen to them my account is It's Me Lexi One and SoundCloud is what I've been all about lately so definitely listen to my songs on there. I live for SoundCloud and my account on there is also It's Me Lexi One and for those of you who are always wondering I get a lot of songs for my videos via SoundCloud. And the last thing in here is Shazam. If you just hear a song you like at a restaurant or in a store or something, you just open this and like Shazam something and it'll tell you the song. That is actually everything that's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out App Man down below and anything else I forget I will put in the description. I am literally out of breath here because I've had to like balance to hold this phone in focus and I'm like standing so weird. You don't even know right now. But I did it for you guys, so thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in next week's video. Okay, I need to go get a glass of water, so goodbye, guys.